The Union Square Cafe has had quite a tenure. It's been one of the most popular and top rated places to eat in New York City for the past 30 some years. It's somewhere that people want to go on their birthday or a special occasion. It's also somewhere that people want to go on a Tuesday night to sit at the bar. Hi, my name is Lena. I'm the executive chef at Union Square Cafe here in New York City. And I'm super excited to share with you our lasagna that you can get in your home via Gold Belly. Lasagna is one of those dishes that everybody thinks that their mom or their grandma makes the best version. And when we decided to make lasagna at Union Square Cafe, we didn't want to compete with that, but we wanted to put the Union Square Cafe spin on it. The lasagna at Union Square Cafe is an amazing feat. It is many, many, many paper-thin slices of homemade pasta lovingly put together with just exactly the right amount of bolognese sauce. What makes the lasagna so special is that the bolognese sauce has a ton of flavor packed into it. We make our bolognese using heritage pork, garlic, all these warming spices that we're toasting and grinding up and bringing this all together with tomato, with wine, with aromatics of bay leaf, rosemary, and thyme. So all of that gets simmered together. This has nine layers of pasta and then nine layers of the sauce as well. And what you see in addition to the bolognese and the pasta is some of that beautiful green color. That's some broccoli rabe. We put that in every other layer. We also have a couple different cheeses in here. Parmigiano provides some of that nuttiness. Provolone is a little bit of a Union Square Cafe twist there, but it gives a little bit of sharpness. Via Gold Belly, you can order our lasagna and it will show up to you in a pan, ready to bake, already all assembled, no work at all. So if you want a showstopper meal, you're gonna put it in your oven at 350 for 45 minutes. Then you're gonna let it come out and sit at room temperature for about another hour. What that does is let the lasagna just come together so that it's not gonna be soupy, it's not gonna fall apart when you put it on the plate. And then, because I love cheese and who doesn't, a little extra cheese over the top. So as you can see, that makes a really beautiful show-stopping entree that's super easy. I couldn't have done that in less time if I tried. So let's get a taste. It's really tender. I'm able to cut through with my fork without any problem. The only issue here is trying to get all of the layers in my mouth at one time. It's so good, it's so rich. You can taste all of that delicious flavor from the bolognese throughout every single layer. The pork, there's all of that background flavor there. And then there's also just a little bit of that broccoli rob so I get some vegetables in here. And of course, cheese and tomato like any good lasagna should have. It's big, but I'd be hard pressed not to want to finish the whole thing. This is a dish that's made with a lot of love and takes a lot of time for us at the restaurant. You have the bolognese that provides such a lovely kick throughout. Everything goes together. It's gonna be reminiscent. It's gonna hit the spot in the same way that your mom or grandmother's lasagna did, but it's gonna do it in a new and interesting way.